What's up everyone? Happy Halloween. Have an awesome review today from the Jurassic Park Series 2 line. The Electronic Utah Raptor. Codename The Ripper. You know a figure is gonna be badass when its code name is The Ripper. With screaming sounds and kicking slashing action. Official JP22 mark with capture gear. It's got the Dress Park Series 2 blue packaging. My box is actually fairly mint for the most part for this figure. Here's the back. Remove and discard clear plastic batteries and blah 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 blah. Put gap gear on as shown. Proof of, proof of purchase from Kenner, Utah Raptor. A few other of the Series 2 figures. Here's the back of the box. The Ripper. Ian Malcolm showing his little action feature. And here's just the top of the box. Nothing really crazy, just showing you the stuff that it does. But this figure isn't new in the box, I just have the box and kind of re-put the figure back in. But I also have... <laughs> blowing your mind. I have two of this guy. I'm going to probably be getting rid of one of them at some point. But I have two. This is the figure with the capture gear on. Three pieces of the capture gear. Neck piece, like the Carnotaur had. Slightly easier to get on this guy than the Carnotaur, in my opinion, I feel like. Still, I don't like putting this piece on too much, just because, like... It's easier to get on than the Carnotaur, but it still annoys me with how tight it is. And I just feel like it wrecks the paint. That's just me. But, and then he's got these leg shackles come off pretty easily. Leg shackles at the Carnotaur. And probably his coolest piece, his muzzle. It's a pretty cool muzzle. Blocks both of his eyes and he can't bite anyone. But slides off really easy. A lot easier than the Demon Carnotaur, if you guys remember. Slides off a whole hell of a lot easier than that. But here's his muzzle. Pretty cool muzzle. But here he is, JP-22 on his leg, he's got movable toe claws, that's why I always loved this figure. This was just a really cool Utah Raptor figure, and especially since like it's got posable toe claws that you can move up and down on both toes, right here and right there. Cool. Battery compartment, so when you gotta change the batteries, unscrew it, put new batteries in it there. Movable hands. Crazy claws. Easy to see why this guy was called the Ripper. But uh, his action feature was uh, you can move his legs back like this and then they lock. And then he's got a button right here. Right here. You can kind of see it coming out right there. You press it and then... <laughs> Crazy electronic sounds. Doesn't really sound much like a raptor. To me, at least, anyway. But uh, if you look inside of its mouth, that's where the speaker comes out, I think. That hole. But if, you don't even need to put these legs back in that locking position to make it do that. You just... You can just keep pressing this button right here. And, and actually, what I did notice, when you do press the button, his mouth opens a little bit. So, pretty cool. Overall, another really, really... Great, 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 great figure from the Series 2 Jurassic Park line. As always, it's pretty, not rare, rare, but it's rare, from because it's from Series 2. Definitely pick this guy up. He's got an awesome paint job, in my opinion. Looks just like a Jurassic Park Raptor from the first movie, just in a lot bigger form. Here's a uh, Series 2 Alan Grant, so you can kind of get a size comparison of how big this dino is, if you don't know where you haven't seen him before if you have a dress park Kenner figure just line it up with that and that's how big this Raptor is. It's pretty big. If I had to rate him he gets the awesome seal of approval. Smash that. Awesome seal of approval. Here's the trading card that he comes with right here. Like most of the early dress park figures he comes with a trading card. But uh yeah that's him guys. The Utah Raptor. The Ripper. One of my personal favorites. Love that action with the legs, like he's jumping. <laughs> <laughs>
But uh, that's him. If I had to rate him, he probably gets uh, probably uh, five. I give him a five. He's a really cool figure. I mean, there's not any issues I really have with him. I mean, he's just a really big raptor, basically. Utah raptor. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys. There'll be uh, another video up Saturday, November 1st. But uh, closing out Halloween with this, everyone have a safe Halloween, be cool, and thumbs up the video, comment, and uh, see you later.